Hi everyone, I just got done filming a video on Facebook Live with my girl Allie Miller. Uh, you probably know her as Allison Miller, that's her professional name. Uh, and she is a fantastic anchor on CBS Austin This Morning, and I would highly recommend for you to check her out. But on her Facebook Live, we made Oobleck, and it's an experiment that I love, love, love to do. It's actually not one that is in the big book of experiments, it's a bonus demo that I love doing. And it's perfect for kids that are of all ages. So she has a son that's two years old, so we started, like, wanted to do something that would work for him, uh, but I think honestly she and I had more fun doing it. But it was the best oobleck I think I've ever made, and so I had to just share it with you guys, and I figured I'd just kind of um, walk you through how you would make this at home. So the first thing you do is you're gonna need a bowl. Um, it's gonna be destroyed by the end, as you can see in my mind, so make sure it's something that can be like completely covered with a goop. So you're gonna need a bowl, you're gonna need some kind of like spatula type thing, a spoon will work. I love something that is a plastic outside because the corn starch just slips right off of it, so I think that works extremely well. You're going to need some cornstarch. You'll need anywhere between a half a cup and two cups of cornstarch. It just depends on how old or how dry your cornstarch actually is. Um, and then you're also going to need some water. So your water, you're going to need anywhere from a half a cup of water up to two cups of water. And then again, as you can see, I like to dye mine with food coloring. So step one, the first thing you do is you take your water, add some food coloring to it. Oobleck earned its name after Dr. Seuss's book, Bartholomew and Oobleck. So I figured we might as well honor the color of the book, which was the uh, green Oobleck. So that's why I use green here. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to take your bowl and you're going to put a half a cup of cornstarch in here and a half a cup of water and then you're going to stir. When I did this, mine was pure liquid soup, like absolute soup. And so then what you do is you slowly start to add more cornstarch. So add more cornstarch, stir. Cornstarch, stir. If yours is the other way, if it's too dry, you're going to add some water. And so there's no perfect recipe or protocol for oobleck. And so what you just have to do is mess with it until you get the perfect structure and overall um, kinesthetic feel. So let me show you. This is why I love mine. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. So first things first, it looks like a solid. Okay, it's acting like a solid. See how it's not moving? The oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid. So when you apply force to it, like I just did, if I try to rip it off the bowl, what happens is the bond in the oobleck flex. So they like freeze, they get into this frozen motion and they basically just, they stop, they stop moving and just kind of act like a solid. But as soon as you let go, so we're gonna squeeze and make it a solid, but as soon as you let go, what you're gonna see is the oobleck is slowly going to drip between my fingers. Can you see this? Oh my gosh, it's totally happening. So the oobleck relaxes, the bonds between the uh, bonds, in, excuse me, the bonds between the molecules relax, and so they are able to go from what we were usually refer to as a solid is to a liquid. So squeeze it, it acts like a solid, and you let go, and it turns into a liquid. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna let you guys see this. This is so cool. It's acting so slowly. This is awesome. I love it. Oh my gosh. It's so slow. Oh, I love it. Isn't that awesome? Look at it. It's like physically dripping down from my hand. I love it. It's like actually cute. And then if you look at the top, it's kind of, I don't know if you can see it because of the light, but it feels like liquid, but if I flip it over, it kind of acts like a solid. But then it starts to drip. Oh, so cool, so cool. All right, y'all, that's Oobleck. You are gonna make an absolute mess, so make sure you do this somewhere where you do not mind, where like corn starch is flying everywhere. I'd highly recommend a backyard if you have an option. Otherwise, let me show you what happened to my table. <laughs> Bye, guys.